coming back from Gainda. Oh, the phone's a bit shaky. The road's a bit shaky. Yeah, we're on the bumpiest we road possible. We got heaps people. bumpiest yeah. road possible for me to start recording. Yeah, like literally yeah. the deep parking to be bumpiest. Yeah. Yeah, so just heading home now. Got heaps of citrus. A lot of citrus. <sighs> and the Savi, I'm gonna do something for the the baby's room. Do something, I'm not sure what. Maybe put up the hooks, I'm not sure. But there's a it's a bit of a long trip. And he's just kicking me so bad. Hey Dev. Yeah, he is booing you. He's that, that Devin's had to listen to me complaining. So he's probably oh. just started the last like half hour. Yeah, it's been pretty good the whole time, but it feels like he's just up here in my ribs. Like, I don't know how he got up here, and he's just kicking me. And I, like, put my arm down before, and I felt this big, hard lump sticking out of my belly. Obviously a little foot, like, how sweet. But still, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I have to get used to it. It must be, like, a third trimester thing when, like, all these limbs start protruding out of my belly. Yeah, I'm going to have to get used to that. It's still just a little, it's still so sweet, but yeah, that was just a bit of a, a thing, yeah. It's a bit uncomfortable. What are you going to do to Savvy Dev? I'm going to try to get rid of some citrus. <laughs> get rid of uh, some citrus? play with my citrus. Oh, so, that's a weird thing to say. Then I've got to plant some raspberries. Some raspberries that need planting. Devin's been working on a new raspberry patch down at the farm. He's just got a, a like um, some so top soil drop down there and he's planting out the raspberries, so it's exciting. Yeah. Hey Dev, that's exciting. Oh, I'm exhausted though. Yeah, so we've got the back filled with citrus and we've also got a trailer filled, filled with, citrus with citrus as well. Probably like 500 kilos, do you think, Dev? Probably more than that. More than 500. Sounds like a lot, but last time we bought the same and we got through it all. I don't think we had any waste. No, we used it all. Because last time we're like, what have we done? Like 500 kilos of citrus, we'll never use all this. And we did. Syrups, we use it in syrups, dehydrated citrus for garnishes and cocktails. Um, we juice a lot and make, oh, oh, syrups. And then like marmalades and that sort of thing. Yeah. And we used all of it, so yeah, I think it's a lot, but that actually only lasted us just over a month. I think it lasted us about six weeks. Yeah, it really took us probably yeah, six weeks to get through it. It's insane. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try to take it a bit easy to savvy, I think. Oh. Get home. We're nearly home. So here I'm just sort of trying to get the, a little bit of organization in the nursery, sort of getting things away, getting things labeled, getting things organized, making sure like, I don't know, I have enough onesies. I really have no idea what I'm doing, <laughs> but just making sure everything has a home just so when I go to find something, I can find it and hopefully I have everything I need.
Okay, so this is the next day when I keep working on my hooks. Uh, so this morning I'm just doing a few little things around the house before work. Um, I am doing just a few hours now just to make sure everyone's okay. And um, yeah, so it's like starting a little bit later, finishing a little bit earlier. It's really, really nice. Okay, so today we are hanging the blinds. Now, on the weekend, we had an emergency. <laughs> Ended up in the emergency room one night for hours after work because Devon went to move the trailer filled with 400 kilograms of mandarins and the, um, like the jockey stick slipped out and he crushed his hand and he broke his hand. So, oh my goodness. It was quite the thing. He still worked the entire weekend, though. He is so, so brave. Um, basically, the hospital said you just have to wait till it heals um, and just take it easy, which I don't know if he did. I told him to take it easy, but he basically had to try to work one-handed. He's really, really incredible. I don't know how he did it. That would have been so painful and to still show up at work. He's, he's really incredible. been crying I just dropped Rosa in to be desexed it's so sad but like it's the best thing she needed like you know I believe in it and you know she come from a, all these stray cats that were unloved and everything so I don't want to continue that cycle but still I don't want to see my little girl in pain <laughs> anyway I'm cutting open this foam and I'm opening this box without her she would love to play in it. <laughs> so that's why I'm thinking about her. <laughs> anyway, this foam is for the nursery chair. So let's see. Let's hope it's the right size. Fingers crossed. Let's see. So here I'm just sort of like putting the groceries away and just prepping some healthy snacks for the week. Really trying to be healthy with my um, diabetes. Um, but I do have a craving, a wicked, wicked craving. As you can see, I'm just downing this. <laughs> this is my second glass. This is like Coke, a vanilla Coke. 
but I'm having the zero. So vanilla Coke zero with like strawberries. It's just like my ultimate thing. It is the best. I think if I had to say I had any cravings, it would definitely be vanilla Coke and strawberries. So good.